Hello everyone, Fish here. It is Tuesday. It is a Blues Day Tuesday. I'm out and about. Um, I usually start at Vintage Stock, but today the traffic around that Vintage Stock was so bad I couldn't even get to it the way I usually go. So I went around a back road and came out and I'm actually at the Best Buy that I usually end up at. So we're going to start at Best Buy, but then we're going to hit up Vintage Stock afterwards. So we're going to run into Best Buy. It is supposed to be the new release day for Superman collection on 4K. Also, Knock at the Cabin, uh, 4K Blu-ray and Steelbook, plus other uh, goodies that should be out and about today. But we're going to run in here real quick and see what they've got for us. So, let's go. Yeah, guys, traffic getting to that uh, vintage stock was going to be like 40 minutes wait. So, I decided to come around the backside and... Yeah, head up to Best Buy first, so let's see what they've got for us. All right, out of the gate, I see that they do have Knock at the Cabin, Blu-ray for $25.99. That's a nice little slip cover there. Embossed title there, M. Night Shyamalan. And here is the 4K for $30.99, or $30.99, collector's edition. So I wonder if there's some Cool goodies on there. It doesn't say anything about. Oh, there's the bonus features there. All right, cool. All right, and then they do have the steelbook. Steelbook for $38.99. Yeah, very basic steelbook, nothing crazy. So I think I'm gonna wait on that steelbook that I do want it, but I'm not gonna pay that much for it at the moment. Oh, they do still have flash dance, 4K, $20.99. Regular slip, $23.99 for the Steelbook. Cool Hand Luke, $25.99 and Steelbook for $33.99. All right, still have Jesus Revolution starring Kelsey Grammer there. Well, he's probably a, a co-star, but it's Kelsey Grammer. He's the only one I know in that movie. Anyways, $21.99. James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, still here. $25.99 and $32.99 for the Steelbook. Still have Rocky IV, Dragon Slayer, regular, 4K, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 4K, Steelbook, and Slipcover. Still have Belly and They Live. And I saw on my buddy Bob's uh, story earlier that they did release Dread on 4K Steelbook again. I'm grabbing this. Didn't know if they were going to have it in my store, but here it is, $19.99. It is coming home with me. because This is one that I've been looking for forever. This and the American Psycho. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they will give us the American Psycho uh, re-release. So, wonderful. So, Dread, $19.99. Pulp Fiction, also $19.99. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder is $26.99 for the Steel Book. Right, headed back to the regular 4K Blu-ray section and see what they've got, if they've got any other new releases back here for us. And here they are, 4K Superman Collection, $89.99 for this four movie set. Joking me with Superman 2 split into two movies. That's considered two movies. No, one movie, two versions. But anyways, there it is. All there and in all its 4K glory. I'm super excited for this. I actually have the Steelbooks um, pre-ordered from Amazon. So I'm waiting on those. I uh, should be here Thursday, fingers crossed. But there they are, $89.99. If you're not caring really much about the Steelbooks. And another new release for today is Children of the Corn. I'm not sure about this one, but it's $12.99 for this Children of the Corn release. I'm not sure. I never heard anything about this one, but yeah. Still have all the Star Trek Generation movies for $20.99. And then the full set for $70.99. Yeah, last week's release is here with Baby Ruby, $12.99. Skyline 4K for $27.99. 80 for Brady. This went down $4 to $22.99. Deep Impact for $22.99. Cocaine Bear, $24.99. And Magic Mike at $24.99. Well, they've got a couple more steel books back on this, uh, in the back section back here. Is it gonna be a Punisher kind of day? Because I don't have Warzone yet, and this is $17.99. So, gonna be a Punisher kind of day? Maybe. 
Oh, how fitting. Got a John Hughes 5 movie collection. I'll be doing a John Hughes uh, stream tonight over on Mega Mike the Movie Man's channel. Um, and also my buddy Bob is going to be doing the beginning of his Steelbook and Slipcovers tournament tonight. Alright, well guys, I just wanted to point out some stuff that was under $10 here in store. Ad Astro, Brad Pitt is $8.99 in store. American Underdog with Zachary Levi is $9.99. And then The Angel Has Fallen, Blu-ray is $6.99. Don't Breathe, the first one, is $8.99 on Blu-ray. Heat, Blu-ray is $3.99. Got Best Picture winner, The Hurt Locker, with Jeremy Renner for $6.99. Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Willow. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, $5.99. Willow, $8.99. Alright guys, well I grabbed what I'm going to get in here. I'm going to head over to Vintage Stock and see if they have any of the new releases that Best Buy didn't carry. So let's get out of here, head over there, and see what they've got for us. Alright, here I am posted outside of Vintage Stock. Gonna run in here and see if they've got any more of the new release goodies for us. If not, I'm gonna wander around and see what else they've got for me. So, let's run in here real quick. Let's see what they've got. Alright, headed over to the new release wall. Ah, they do have Yellowstone Season 5 on Blu-ray for or DVD for $22.99. There's Knock at the Cabin. DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K. Also the Children of the Corn release there. Uh, they did get in this uh, Blu-ray limited edition reprint of Cheech and Chong's stash box for 30 bucks here. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hand of Death is another release that came out today for $25.99. Let's see. Branded to Kill. This is a 4K Criterion for $34.99. And looks like an animated title, Unicorn Wars for $17.99. So yeah, those are all the new releases for this past week here. You know, guys, I rarely come over and look at their DVD section. I mean, the box set stuff, but I, <laughs> I may just have to reinvest because I had this set at one point and I had to sell it and they've got it and I want it back. I really want that set back badly. All right, I'll just kind of peruse through here a little bit. Ah, I got something out of place there, Winchester. But yeah, just gonna kind of look through here, see what they've got. Uh, yeah. Still need to grab this. I heard this was really good. Well, not really good, but I heard good things about it. So I didn't even behind the mask there. Um, yeah. So heard good things about this show too. I've only seen a couple episodes of it. What have we got here? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Alright, not bad. Yeah. That Christine Steelbook here. Is that $14.99? Alright, it's just a regular Blu ray. I got the Christmas Story. Got that one already, that's cool. Heck yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right. For a second there, I got all excited. There's this Halloween Complete Collection for nine, or one nineteen ninety nine. I thought this was the, uh, the really nice Scream Factory one, but it is not. It is not, unfortunately. I, I My heart skipped a beat there for a second. All right, guys, I am home, slipped into something a little more comfortable, and I'm gonna show what I got today, which isn't a whole lot, but I did get a package in over the weekend from a dear, dear friend that I wanted to uh, show what he sent me, what he gifted me, actually, which was amazing, and he didn't have to do this, um, which was fantastic. I, I, fantastic, fantastic, man. We'll get there eventually. Hold on. So, um, first off, I do want to talk about what I grabbed today. Um, I did not get any of the new releases. Cabin in the Woods, just too expensive for, uh, what it was for day one. I will wait a little while and get it eventually. Uh, Steelbook probably, more than likely. Um, but, uh, there were other things. Uh, the experts, I checked at Vintage Stock. They didn't have the experts out. None of the stores, they said, uh, company-wide got the experts in. So, I'm guessing it's a shipping issue with Kino Lorber. Um, 
had these issues before with Kino Lorber going through like Amazon, but if you get directly through Kino Lorber, it seems to not have any issues and come directly to you quicker. So um, waiting on the experts that I will eventually get, hoping it was their day one, but uh, Kelly Preston, John Travolta, Ari Gross, uh, fun, great spy movie, a lot of fun, good comedy. But anyways, I digress and go on a little too long, but I grabbed Dread today. I've not seen this. Carl Urban. This is a Lionsgate exclusive steelbook through Best Buy. Um, it went out of print. They reissued this. So I'm so excited to grab this because I'm trying to collect all the Lionsgate steelbooks. And this was going for like $40, $50. And I got it today for $20. Bucks. So awesome, wonderful, fantastic. So that is the only thing new that I grabbed, new to me. Um, I had a very dear friend send me a little package. Um, Tony over at Basement Blues is a fantastic, wonderful, wonderful man. And um, one night after a live stream, he asked if uh, we cared for any doubles that he had. And I went ahead and cut this open so a little easier to get to. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. And of course, he's a collector too, so he knows what it's all about. Oh, he left me a little note. And yes, 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 it did. Awesome. Thank you so very much, Tony. Um, but packaged in bubble wrap, nice bubble wrap, nice. Like I said, he's a collector, he knows, he knows. Oh, so excited about these. So he sent me a copy of The New Kids. Um, I've never seen this movie. So I'm super excited to check this out. And it is a VHS retro slip cover, which is awesome. I love these because growing up in the 80s, VHS was my thing. Um, he also sent me a copy of Inception on Steelbook. This is wonderful. I love this movie a lot. Not a lot of people, um, like this movie. I do. I love it. Just the mind bending and the, um, the dream aspect of it all. Very, very interesting to me. <clears throat> Next, he also sent me a copy of Logan Lucky. This movie is really great. I like this a lot. Um, I really hadn't seen a whole lot of Adam Driver outside of like Force Awakens when I saw this, but when I saw him in this along with um, um, Riley Keough and um, oh my gosh, Daniel Craig and Channing, uh, Channing Tatum, this is a really fun, great, out there, fantastic heist movie. This is a really, really good one. So thank you, Tony, very much. I love it. And it's Steel Sealed, which is awesome. And i would never seen this movie and he's like, I'm going to throw this in there for you. So I'm super excited. I've been wanting to watch this for a very, very long time. Uh, Heaven Can Wait, starring um, Warren Beatty and Julie Christie. Um, there is a remake, I believe, Down to Earth um, with Chris Rock that is similar to this. So, oh man, I'm super excited. Thank you very much, Tony, very much. You did not have to do that. I really appreciate it. Um, so here is my little stack for this week, which is awesome. I'm super excited about all these movies to add them all to the collection. Um, guys, thank you very much. Comment down below if you have any thoughts about anything that I picked up today or anything you saw in the video. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. Thank you very much for joining me on my little adventure today, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!